Visit ccgcastle.com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Send us your book in exchange for Evolution Booster Box. Visit CCG Castle or check video description to learn more. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video, we'll be looking at my Firebox or Arcanine Vulcanian Vulcanian EX deck. So Arcanine from the Evolution 130 HP Stage 1 evolves from Growlithe. Um, yeah, pretty much I should say a legendary Pokemon, but he actually is not. Um, or maybe he is, I don't know. Um, and never mind, 130 HP fire with ability Burning Road, which says, one during your turn, if the, uh, before you attack, if this Pokemon was on your bench and become your active Pokemon this turn, you might move any number of fire energy attached to your Pokemon, um, attached to your Pokemon to this Pokemon. So basically, after you retreat or switch to your Arcanine, you can just move energies from all of your fire Pokemon to your Arcanine, and you can just use Scorched Bread for 150 and uh, yeah, hit for tons of damage. It's a 90 x attacker, so it definitely worth uh, for that attack. Unfortunately, for fire energies, it's not that cheap, but still, it's a pretty decent uh, card. Of course, weakness on the water and two retreat cost, which means that there's no space for the heavy ball unfortunately it would be badass if he have true retreat coast so i can just grab that heavy ball for a vulcania and search both of them so unfortunately i can't do that um one quick note uh, for you uh, just to not make some misplays when you play uh when you get knockout and when you put your arcanine from the bench to your active uh, position you can't use a burning road so that's a uh, disadvantage but still very, very good card. On the other side, as you can see, I'm running three copies of Baby Volcano with the Power Heater, who can help also to uh, hit for a lot of damage with the Steam Up, and of course to accelerate my Growlits and uh, Volcanion's EX. And of course, two copies of Volcanion EX with the Steam Up. Didn't want to go with three of them, because I don't need more than two. Uh, being able to Steam Up uh, just regular Volcanion EX with uh, two Steam Ups, that's 190. And with Fighting Fury Belt, that's 200, and uh, with Joanne's Scheme, you can go for 220, so you can one-hit knockout EXs like Dark Ray EX without any problem. So that's the reason why I didn't want to include a third Volcanion, but of course, for the space limit on the bench, because I also run one copy of Staryu, and Staryu with the Space Bacon, who can allow me to, one during my turn, discard a card from my hand and put two basic uh, Fire Ranges from my Discord Pound to my hand, which is very important, so I can use more and more Steam Ups and just uh, increase the damage on my Volcanion for the Power Heater, but maybe even for the Steam Artillery, uh, which I can strike for 170 with two Steam Ups and uh, one Fighting Fury Belt. Unfortunately, Arcanine cannot be powered up with uh, Steam Up because he is not a basic Pokemon. And in addition to that, I also um, included one copy of Shaman EX just for the setup. So I'm running 14 Pokemons in total, 35 trainer cards and 11 energies. So from the item cards I decide to add as a Tech 1 Dive Ball because with the Dive Ball I can easily grab my Volcanion or um, uh, Starmie and Stardew. So I really like that option. In addition to that, Escape Probe as usual. Um, I really like the effect of the Escape Probe. It's just badass card and I simply play this card in all of my decks. One copy of Super Road, uh, four Trainers Mails, four Ultra Balls and four V Secrets for the best consistency I can get. Then in addition to that I'm running um, seven different supporter cards. Um, so one Giovanni scheme who can help me to draw cards till I have five or I can increase the damage for 20 on my um, Pokemons in play. That's very important. In addition to that one Hex Maniac to be able to stop those Greninjas but of course to be able to stop Radicate Breaks, um, those annoying um, Wild Plumes and any other cards like uh, Evil Tall with uh, that a Friday ability because sometimes that evil talk can also be a problem because you might not be able to have Olympia for the retreat and sometimes you can just uh, have that float zone in play but you can't retreat because of that um, evil talk so that that's definitely a problem so maybe you you can sometimes be short for like a 10 damage and that fighting fear belt with the hex mania can help you to knock out your opponent for an evil talk for example so that's the reason why hex mania is also a good card in this build even it will shut down your abilities, but of course, if you are smart, you will first use all of your abilities, then just use Hex Meaning to shut down the rest of the abilities in play for like the end of your opponent turn. A copy of Lysander, three copies of N, one of Olympia, of course, for the retreat, because 
for treating tree, uh, paying tree retreat cost for the retreat is not that easy, especially if you don't have floatstone, for example, attached in the Bull Canyon. So Olympia is a very good card. Copy of Ranger because we simply need to have Ranger in this build. Uh, for that uh, Scorching Breath and uh, Volcanic Hit, both of these Pokemon is actually required. Um, either way, Rush in Retreat with Zorak, for example, or just Pokemon Ranger, but even Zorak wouldn't be that bad in this build, but there's simply no space for it. Um, four copies of Professor Sycamore. In addition to that, three Scorched Earths, two XP shares, which I really like because there are no tool removal cards expect for the uh, Redita from the evolution, but of course he can only affect the active Pokemon. And XP Shearer is a pretty badass card because uh, when you get knocked out uh, with your active Pokemon and if you have energies on it, you can just transfer one of those energies onto your Pokemon that have XP Shear, so that can actually help a lot to those Arcanines uh, with the Scorched Bread, that's for sure. But also to Volcanion, so Volcanion the X. Uh, two copies of Fighting Fury Belt to have more HP on my Volcanion or Volcanion EX, but even on the Shaman if I need it, because I don't have Pearl City. One Flowstone as a tech and 11 Fire Energies in total, which will be 60 cards for this deck in total. So deck is definitely very, very good. I highly recommend to test it out, because it's just a lot of fun with it, especially with those Tarmies and uh, Volcanions, Steam Ups, and uh, different options to attack and surprise your opponent. Uh, from nowhere, either way with your Arcanine or with your um, Volcanion EX. I simply can't wait for that Arcanine break deck because I already have one good idea in my head uh, with Zorark, Arcanine uh, break and Volcanion, so that will definitely be uh, something good. So let's do uh, one game so you can actually see this deck, how it works in action, so see you in the game. Alright guys, let's uh, do this. So. For today's video, I'm playing with the Arcanine Volcanion combination of the deck. And I must say that this deck is a lot of the fun. So let's take a look at the opening hand. Well, my opening hand is not the best. There's just the one star you. Um, okay, hopefully, I'm going to top deck one energy card so I can maybe play my Scorch Dirt because this definitely does not look great. Okay, Baby Volcanion, one Dive Ball, of course, for one Volcanion EX. More than that, one Fighting Fury Belt, and I'm thinking about playing Olympia as fast as I can and pass my turn, because that's pretty much it. I want to have Olympia in my Discord pile, of course, for later, so I can use it for uh, more and more time with uh, VA Seekers. So there's one Metal Energy for that quick card, which can easily be played. All right, Radikin break on the other side. So this is going to be one interesting matchup. The good thing is that my opponent already discarded one Puzzle of Time, and I wouldn't be surprised to see, okay, Ultra Ball for Emirates. So let's see what is the last card in his hand. Is it a Sycamore and or, okay, Sycamore for seven. That's just perfect start. He already has Spinark, Redita, and the Remorite in play. More than that, he can even quick card and next turn I'm not going to be able to use my power heater even if I have energy. I mean, I can just use power heater to attach energies, but I can't deal damage to Cabalia. That's the problem. So the top deck for me is one Trainer's Mail for N. Okay, so really like the Trainer's Mail option for N. Didn't want to take a risk with the Ultra Ball and the play Shame because I then need to discard two of my Arcanines. Somehow I just don't feel comfortable do doing that. I guess right now it's time to use Ultra Ball for my... Hmm... I guess V Seeker, unfortunately, and uh, one copy of Arcanine for that Shaman EX. I guess... I guess I can even more uh, play one more Ultra Ball. That's not a good option, but... Yes. No, I don't want to take a risk. Let's just go with the Shame for Tree. Didn't want to play Escape Rope yet. Okay, there is Energy Card, but the most important thing is that there is a Scorched Earth. So, Scorched Earth, one more Ultra Ball for Lysander, and another Arcanine, because I will Super Odin back. For another baby Vulcanian. 
because I just want to apply some pressure in the early game to my opponent. One escape rope. I know that he will not put that red attack the active spot, that's for sure, but at least I can get rid of Cobellion and deal some damage either way to Remoride or... Oh, so he actually decided to promote red attack here. That's great, but I'm short for like an energy card. Um, Alright, so Super Road. Not now, next turn. One power healer just for um, 20. Wish I had that more damage to knock out the Red Tide. That would be so amazing. Right now, he can have that Radicate, which also have free retreat. That's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So, I will definitely need my Hex Maniac in play also as fast as I can. So, I'm probably playing just Super Road next turn and the uh, end for 6. In hope to find that Hex Maniac so I can shut down my opponent. Um, Spinark and Ariados ability, or of course I can just Lysander Ariados and get rid of it, so he can't simply play that Poisonous Nest ability. There is one Silent Lab, which means no more Steam Ups for me, unfortunately. One Sycamore for seven, so one Radicate Break discarded. Um, not sure if he discarded Ariados earlier or what, but there's a Dirty Shock. So we are uh, unpoisoned. He's actually not poisoned. Super Road. Let's bring back those Arcanines and let's just use a Beast Seeker 4. And I could even go with Olympia, but I'm searching for a Steam Up, maybe even Knockout here. So probably that can happen in theory. Let me see. There's a Scorched Earth. There is one Scorched Dirt for two, another Vulcanian, one Steam Up, which means that right now I can go for 50, which will be enough for the knockout. There's also Starby here, and one more Trainer's Mail for me, which will give me the opportunity to grab that XP share. Hmm, do I want to use Stormy? I guess I don't want to do that. I will just knock out his Eradicate here and uh, put two energies, one onto my Volcanion, another onto my Volcanion EX. So for the next turn, that Scorched Earth actually saves the day. So um, yeah, pretty much you can use Cobalion and Quick Art, but luckily I have V-Seeker for Lysander, and I can simply Lysander his Spinark on the bench, or maybe I can just go for Edita. Without Radicate, he can do pretty much nothing. So I'm definitely looking forward to focus on those Raditas. There is another level ball for my opponent, and another um, Radita. Not sure why he doesn't play Raditas from the... Um, Evolutions, they're much, much better cards. Uh, one Pearl City. Okay, no problem. I can get rid of my Shaman from play. That's two less price for my opponent, I guess. I'm in a huge advantage because I managed to take one prize and he still don't have Radicate in play. So without Radicate, he's not going to be able to do too much. But the problem is that this is a deck based around my um, Arcanines and I still have zero Arcanines in play, unfortunately. It is how it is. But at least I'm making some kind of the pressure onto my opponent Pokemons and play pretty much with my Volcanions. For the next turn, I will definitely retreat and uh, knock out his uh, Spinark on the bench. That is for sure. One quick guard. Okay, 10 damage onto my Volcanion. So there's a Pokemon Ranger top deck. But I don't simply want to do that. Um, what I want to do is I want to Lysander. Okay, there is even another V Seeker. Not bad. So one Lysander, a quick Lysander on his Spinark. And I'm going to take one energy here, a retreat. Right now I can go for 60. The most important thing... Oh, I don't want to use my Space Bacon, I guess. Nope. 
I just want to use my power heater, uh, strike for the knockout, and basically add two more energies. Unfortunately, if he decides to put that Pearl City on the different side, I would not I would not be able to knock out in this case right now. He's spinner and he would be alive. So that was my um, mistake for my opponent, I guess. Maybe not, who knows? He knows the best what he wants to do. On the other side, I also have Hex Maniac, which is a perfect card, um, especially especially for the couple next turns, but I just need one fire energy and I can knock out my opponent, eradicate break with my Volcanion, Steam Artillery, so that's definitely gonna happen. Probably even next turn, because I have Starmie with the Space Bacon, and I can easily use it. So, um, let's see, he can get two copies of puzzles and take that Spinner Kid Arietos very easily. Okay, Spinark and uh, Level Ball, probably for another uh, Radicate. Yep, another Radicate is here, and uh, basically he can Beazle the Hand. For example, if he had that Radata from the Evolutions, he would be able to uh, remove my Fighting Fury Belt, so in that case I would not be able to basically go for 110 on his Radicate, but on the other side, for example, um, with the uh, Vulcanian EX in play, I could just easily um, get my Space Bacon, for example, but unfortunately I don't have energies in my disc pile, so that's, I guess, a tiny misplay from my opponent. So what do I want to do here is, I want to go with the Lysander again, and this time I want to Lysander again, he's Spinark, because Spinark is the biggest problem, um, simply, so I can just go with my Steam Artillery for um, 220 and knock out Spinark, and without Spinark he can just simply use Radicate uh, for the one-hit knockout with that, I think it's a Super Fang, yes it is. So he first needs to use, I mean he can, he can at least use Super Fang and put me down to like uh, 10 HP, then he can try to find a Poison, and knock out my Volcano, for example, he can do that if he wants. Even that is not a bad option, I guess. But yeah, pretty much, uh, as long as he don't have those spinners in play, I don't need to worry too much. So, Kubelin will be able to use Revenge Blast next turn. So, he definitely used my outdated version of this deck. So, like, uh, before the Evolution was released, I also played Radicate Break deck, and uh, that was pretty much near identical at least to my list. I also run those Silent Labs and the Pearl City, so who knows, maybe he even play uh, my list, I wouldn't be surprised. But if you want to um, take a look at the new, better Radicate Break list, you should definitely check out my channel, where I also uploaded that um, new video with Radicate Break. So unfortunately I can't put none of my Arcanines in play, so that should be a Arcanine battle. But unfortunately it's not, so yeah, he decided to do that, put me down to like 160. So what can I do next turn is I can use my Hex Maniac pretty much easily. Or I can do that this turn. So I will just use my Hex Maniac on this turn. And uh, pretty much I will go with my Steam Artillery for 110. So I can knock out his Radicate Break and next turn he can't knock me out without... Actually, he can knock me out with uh, Revenge Blast, but for example with Radicate Break, um, he can also do that. Yep, totally forget about that, never mind, I miscalculated something. But at least he can't use a Beazle Hand, so there's a Sycamore for 7, he's forced to go with Sycamore for 7. And I simply don't see any more a reason I simply don't see um, how my opponent can take six more prize cards because I already have one more Volcanion set up with that Volcanic hit, so there's a Revenge Blast for 150 of course and uh, one energy can go down to my Volcanion I can go for 20, 40, I can even knock him out with my baby Volcanion here pretty much without any problems 
Finally, I have my Growlithe in play. There's one XP share on it. There is one Fighting Fury belt and one huge space beacon for two fire energies. Of course, one of them can be used for the steam up. Another one can be attached onto my Growlithe. More than that, I can even add a couple more damage. Or I can just simply uh, draw cards until I have 5, which I will better um, do. And I can use my Power Heater, so I can add one more Fire Energy onto my Growlithe. And take one prize, so I have one more prize left. So for the next third, I guess, all I just need is my Arcanine. And I can knock out my opponent Radicate Break with my Arcanine. So there's another Radicate Break for him. He's down to like a 4 cards, I still have 15 cards. He manages to take one prize, so definitely I'm happy how the deck works. So one more Fire Energy for me, one Arcanine, and I'm searching for a V-Seeker, so I can use Olympia. Well, there's no sign of the Olympia, so I guess I will just... Ultra Ball to see if I have left Olympia. Uh, VC for Olympia. I simply don't have that, so I definitely need to go with my Sycamore for 7 and find as many Fire Ranges as I can so I can increase the damage with my Volcanion here. So I can go for 60. And uh, next turn I can knock out his Radicate with any of my Pokemon. So do I want to add energy from my Disco Pile? Yes, unfortunately I need to do that. So one onto my Starvee just in case of crazy Lysander or something like that so I can retreat. So there's a Dirty Shock. And uh, right now I'm knocked out. So I just want to uh, show you guys one thing. If you put your um, Volcanion in the active position, if you put right now your Arcanine, its ability, its ability will not work. So what you have to do is you need to have your Arcanine on the bench before you actually decide to retreat. And then you can just transfer energies. So in that case, that will work. So one Scorched Breed for 150 will be enough for the knockout. And there's a last price, so the game is over.